This is an integrated Math 1 practice test for 10 ready. This is 2017-18 version, question number 7. In the 16-17 version, they had a question almost just like this, but they've changed a little bit, so I thought I'd go ahead and redo it. The triangles QTP and SPT, so... This guy, or gal, I don't know. I don't know if how that works in triangles, really. And... SPT. Oh, that's terrible. That's what I get for cross-handing. Being a lefty, it's harder to move that direction. There we go. So I need to figure out, uh, so ray RM is perpendicular bisector, so you'll see that there. And segment PT, so here, or intersects segment PT and intersects this here, right here, sorry. Now it doesn't say that it's a uh, necessarily that this is a midpoint of PT. It just says that it intersects, which does matter, believe it or not. Um, so I need to know which transformation would indicate that QTP is congruent to SPT. So I need to think, okay, well, what? How can I find congruence? I can find side angle side, and that's great and wonderful. But what could I use? What would actually be helpful? Well, I know these things are congruent, so QP is congruent to ST, so that gets me part of the way, so at least I have a side, so that's good. You'll notice that this is P is marked with the same uh, line as angle T, so this is angle STP and QPT. So measurement of angle QPT is congruent to measurement of angle STP. So that's some angle stuff I can work with. After that, I'm kind of lost. I don't really have anything that I could use. So I need to find something else to fill this out. And, you know, side angle side is the way I'm hoping to go. But maybe it's something else. I don't know. We'll see. These are likely vertical angles, so this probably congruent to this, but I'm not really sure that helps us here. So, because we're talking about the bigger triangles and not the little ones. Now, a horizontal translation to the length of PR. So, from here to here, I horizontal translation means that it goes this way. So this moves over here. I'm not really sure how that would help us in any way. It doesn't seem like something that's giving us a whole lot of information. A horizontal translation the length of PT, so I go from here to here. I don't, you know, it would look pretty, I guess, but I'm not 100% sure that it really adds anything to the proceedings, so I'm going to say that translations are not very helpful here, because I'm trying to prove, essentially, that this is the same for both. A reflection over QT. So if I reflect here, this point probably goes somewhere over here somewhere. Again, I'm not really, it's like a bad fold. I don't know why that would help me. A reflection over MR. So if I reflect here, now if I can prove that this is the same as, it falls right on top of this, this falls right on top of this, that would mean that this would cycle back and it would land right here. So this would go here, this would go here, and this would go here. So they would fall right on top of each other, which would certainly prove, or at least indicate anyway, that we have congruence. So that's the answer I'm going to choose. The reflection over the, this line MR that's created, if that could happen, then we can show, uh, we can indicate that they're the same. And they would be anyway, to be honest. They both share PT as a side, so the PT, PT, since it's the same length, the reflexive property would indicate that there's side in there, so side angle side. So there you go. Number seven.